Hello everybody, welcome back to another My Summer Car video where we're still building the engine and I'm going to be trying to attach it to the hoist now to make it a little bit easier for me to work on going forward because it's going to get quite big and quite heavy quite quickly and I need it off this bench to be able to fasten everything else onto it and bits on the bottom and stuff so getting it on the hoist now is going to be pretty crucial Only two bolts for this, one on the front, one on the back. Okay. Obviously I've got the header in place on the last video. There we go, look at that, snaps into place onto the hoist. Now I can drag that into the workshop. It's as pumped up as high as it'll go. Okay. So let's think now, what's the next job? Carburetor. Put the carburetor on. That's thing right now. What size bolts is this going to need? Little ones. Is the scientific answer to that question? Little bolts. I think there's only four on this. Another one up there. Okay, so that's the carburetor on. Yeah, just check in. That's tightened up fully. Okay, after the carb, what goes next? Rocker cover. Rocker shaft. Even. And that drops on top of the cylinder cover, the cylinder head. Uh, okay, and then we need to bolt that in place. That's the oil pan, the drive gear, alternator, water pump. Trying to figure out what's next. What do I do next? Uh, I probably want to fasten that on, don't I? Oh yeah, a couple of bolts on this. I think five in all. And then there's a series of screws there that I need to adjust for the, the valve timings. Get the engine running sweet. Which I'm going to do now whilst I've got easy access to it. Sometimes people prefer to do it once it's on the car and the car's running. But I'm going to do it now because it's going to be easier. And if I do it now... I can just forget about it. So basically I'm going to loosen all these screws off to their maximum and then I'm going to adjust them back halfway and that should hopefully get my timing about spot on for where I need it to be. Rotate them round a couple of times. Make sure they're all nice and loose. Same with that one. Mm. 
orient try and orientate them all the same sort of way so then it makes it a bit easier to see that I've adjusted them the same way and the same amount obviously I'll when I'm actually adjusting them I will count the turns make sure I get roughly the halfway point Just got these two end ones to do to adjust. So they're all backed off. What's this last one to do? Derpyphysics.com. Okay, right. Now, let's get these adjusted. Now I'm going to turn them back the other way, but I'm only going to turn them so far. On a few turns. And give each one the same number of turns. That way then each valve's adjusted the same. So hopefully then my engine won't knock and rattle and check itself to pieces and explode when it is running. If I get this wrong, of course, then I think what I'll do is I'll take the cart and the mechanic and get him to do it properly. <laughs> there is a mechanic in this game. I don't know whether I said, I've mentioned that in the previous videos. There is an actual mechanic shop where you can take your car to and get work done by a professional. But obviously, I need the car in some kind of condition before I do that. that one adjusted right they're all adjusted and they're all adjusted the same number I think now we get to put the rock cover back on and that should just sit on the top somewhere there and then that will bolt on. Six bolts on this, I think. Three on each side. It's starting to look like an engine now, isn't it? camshaft thing in early didn't I so I'm going to tighten that up now before I forget ok so that's done camshaft gear that's what I want that will go on the end that goes on there I think that just has one bolt holding it in place bolted Right, next item on the list will be um, timing chain. Okay, so the timing chain's on. Then we want. Um, 
time in cover. There we go. And that'll have a couple of bolts on it. Six mils. I think it has quite a few, this does. Two. Three. Four. One more. Is there a fifth? There's a fifth. I think there's six in total actually on this. So there's probably one more there, yeah. That's again a lot of bolts for that just to cover. Right. Next thing will be the water pump then. And that'll just shove into that bit there. Okay, and that's got a bunch of bolts on it too. These ones are seven mils. So one, two, three. Any on the top? I think there's two on the top, so I think this one has five as well. Four and five. Five bolts in the water pump. Uh, then we need the water pump pulley, which is this bit here. That again just pops on. That has a four bolts on it. So again, and these are seven mil as well, so don't have to change the spanner for this. I think one of the things I may do for future videos um, or certainly future play sessions of this game just before I dive into game is maybe change my mouse sensitivity a little bit sometimes it's a little bit difficult to f get locked on to some of the nuts and stuff and some of the bolts because the mouse is so sensitive it, it, it moves you know, you know the tiniest movement on the mouse and it, it, it's leaping across the screen which makes it really difficult to be accurate I think I need to perhaps dial it back a bit so it's a little bit, you know, it's a little bit slower moving, so you could be a bit more precise with it. And it's not jerking and twitching all the time when I'm trying to screw in the nuts and bolts. I want to use some odor moles because I'm getting fed up with the balls in. L'Oreal, because I'm worth it. There we go, drop that back over there. And I didn't spray myself with spray paint. So that's another achievement. <laughs> right, alternator. Drop that on the back there somewhere. Uh, yeah, that goes on there like that. Okay, and then we've got a couple of bolts on this thing. Um, do, 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 do. We want seven mil. Should be a seven mil there. there. Is that it? There it is. There's the top one, and then there's a, a slightly larger bolt, I think, on the back of the alternator. I think is a nine mil. There it is. 
So that's bolted in place. Right. Now, undo the alternator because we're going to need to put on the fan belt. So we're going to undo, loosen that off, and then we can adjust that. We can, I think, adjust this. How do we do it? I've got the hand there. Um, dragging it doesn't seem to move it. Oh, it's the same way as you do the um, like gas caps and stuff on cars. You have to rotate the mouse wheel. So, yeah, I'm going to loosen that off. Right. That's as much as it goes. Apparently, can't loosen it off anymore. Right, I need to go and get... Right, I need to go get the cam belt now, which I'm guessing is going to be in the pantry with all my food. Because when I bought it in the shop, he put it in the shopping bag. Which then exploded... Somewhere in here. Uh, um, oh, go eat the chips because I was a little bit hungry. Tito chips. I'm getting the pizzas and the chips muddled up. Yeah. Another macaroni hiding in there as well, by the looks of it. Only in the corner. There's a bottle of milk there. Another bottle of milk there. Or is it a macaroni? Looks like a macaroni. Pizzas. There's the fan belt. I'm just going to drop that down for a second. I'm going to grab a drink of water. I'm thirsty. Oh, head through the wall. Head through the wall, John. Right. Fan belt. Let's go get this attached. Okay. So that just clicks onto there, which goes around all three of those. Then what I need to do is rotate that back now to tighten that alternator up onto the fan belt. Look. Okay, and then tighten that up to lock it in place. That's it. That's that bit done. Uh, next. Engine plate. Which... Uh, mm, does that go on there? Does it need to be orientated a specific way? Um, there's holes. The holes don't match. It's going at an angle, maybe. Going that way? Nope. Hmm, interesting. Why doesn't that go on? Okay.
that. Does it go on the other side? Oh, fell in the pit. I fell over and I can't get up. <laughs> wow, I put that on from a long way away. Let's just move that so I don't fall in the pit again. Okay, right. So, that's the engine cover on. The plate cover. Um, does it have bolts? I don't think it has any bolts. There's nothing to fasten it on. Uh, Yes, I don't think there is anything to fasten it on. So what holds that cover in place? Something there. Um, Starter, of course, that will go down in that bottom bit. The starter, of course. So we bolt that in. Be another one under there somewhere. There it is. Right, after the starter, I think then we have, is it the flywheel? And the flywheel will go on the end, and then that is what holds the rest of that cover in place then. There we go. See, it's coming together now. It's like a giant jigsaw puzzle. Just with more rewarding end to it. There we go. After the flywheel, what would be next? A clutch. Clutch pressure plate. Put that on the table. Clutch cover plate. I think that has to turn over. And then the clutch itself. Should snap onto there. Doesn't. Okay. Uh... And that on top, like a bit of a sandwich, don't we? Go that way then. Hmm. Clicks onto that one, and then that one clicks onto that one. Now you've got a clutch assembly. Right, now I need to bolt that on. Okay. That's going to have a load of bolts on it. You just know a clutch is going to have a ton of bolts. They're going to be all the way around the outside. It appears there's only six. There's only six bolts holding the uh, clutch plate, clutch in place. Hmm. Right, 
JD. Next. Uh, might as well put the oil pan on the bottom now. Bolt that on. Make sure I get the right. I've got the wrong size spanner. I think I've got the wrong size spanner. Yes. I want the 7mm, not the 8. I keep picking up the wrong spanners. Right, there's one. I think there's 8 bolts on this. Making sure I'm really careful to only get the ones attached to the oil pan and not some of the other ones. Okay, and there'll be one more at this end. There. Ooh. Okay, so that's good. Now let's do the ones on the other side. And then there's going to be one more tucked behind the starter. It's really difficult to get to. There it is. Some people might put the oil pan on first, I suppose. Right, there is one more bolt on the oil pan, a very important one. Which of course is this big one on the bottom, which if you don't screw in, will mean when you fill it up with oil, it'll just pour out. <laughs> right, next, we want the gearbox. Which will go on somewhere here, attached to the clutch. So once we bolt the gearbox on, we're not far off then. Is oddly, not a massive amount of bolts on this, I don't think. There's one. And then I think there's just a couple on the end then. I'm really concentrating on this, which is why I'm a bit, probably a little bit more quieter during this building phase than I have been in previous videos, because I'm really trying to concentrate hard on making sure I don't mess this up. But I do want the car to work first time. I don't want it to blow up on me. Yeah, three bolts each side then. Hold the rest of the gearbox on. I think that's all of them. Then we need the drive gear distributor. Mm. 
drive gear. That's what I want. Then that just clicks in the end. Or should click into the end. Oh, there was a tick. Okay. And then there's a couple of bolts on that. Which are going to be... 5mm, very tiny. 6mm maybe. There's not a lot of really tiny bolts. There's that one there. around the edge of this, the outside. Make sure they're nice and tight. Uh, and there's a one underneath. Bound to be one underneath as well. Right, drive gears in place. Next job. Uh, we're going to put the spark plugs in. We're going to need the special spark plug tool for that. And again, the spark plugs are numbered. They should just pop in on this side. And find out where they go. On there. Whack all four of them in. Come on, there we go. Last spot, right. Tighten them down using the spark plug tool. They're nice and make sure they're nice and tight. They're going to ignite the fuel, of course. In each cylinder. Start the combustion process. Get your engine running. Um, And of course, now we've got that, we're going to need the fuel pump. Because we're going to need to get pump into the cylinders. Two bolts on this. Then we want the distributor, which just apparently sit somewhere on the front here. There we go. And I think that just has a one bolt to tighten it down. Grab that. Where? There it is. I don't think there's a second one. Okay, and then we've just got the fuel fit, the oil filter, which just I think goes on by hand. Just goes on by hand. And we tighten that down by hand. There. Job done. I think that is the engine assembly built. So now we need to wheel the car in. 
Where are we looking for time? Nearly 11 o'clock. Um, I think it's sauna time and then bed. That's what I think it is. And then we'll roll the car into the workshop in the morning. again it's gone off we need the bucket let's go fill the bucket up with water drop that down there it's a shame the shower doesn't work so you can actually have a shower that would get you cleaner a lot faster I think It's a shame you can't like press that button to activate the shower. Ooh, don't tip the bucket over. Please. Nope. Someone is cold. Stupid door. And let me get in. I think the door has to be closed for the sauna to work. <laughs> I find that really strange, but apparently that's how it goes. Look at that. Getting nice and clean here. One more, and then that'll be it, I think. Yeah, that's enough. That, that's near enough. Near enough for me. Shut the door, keep the heat in. Um, go to bed. Oh, look. There's some more of my mods. I've changed the wall posters. Look. I've changed the wall posters to some of my favourite tour posters that I've actually been to and been on. So yeah, making the game my own. I've already changed the flag in the garage. I've changed the posters on my bedroom walls. I'm going to bed. I'm going to sleep. Morning is broken. Let's go for a quick tinkle. that not a drop on the floor like a pro I'm a little bit hungry and a little bit thirsty then there we go doop, 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 doop. JD right breakfast what are we having for breakfast today uh, macaroni what about a milk? Shall we have a milk? Let's have a milk. No, pick the carton up, you silly man. We have a bin outside. Use it. There we go. Gonna have to drink from the tap though, because I the milk didn't quench my thirst. There we go. Right. A bit of eau de moz. Keep them bugs away. Right, let's go build the car then. So, we are moving the jack, I think, is the plan. I can lower it down. Come on, give me the handle. There we go. Right. Jack's fully lowered. No. Oh, 
I just want to move it. Right, there we go. Wheel that out over it, out of the way. Because we're going to put the car inside. And then we can put the engine in it. So, there we go. Next step is... Oh, 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 oh no. Oh no, press the wrong button. Uh, quick. Water the grass. Water the grass. Nothing to see here, people. Nothing to see here. Right. Next episode, we're going to push the car into the garage, over the pit, fit the engine. So for now, thank you for watching. Please leave your likes, your comments. Remember to subscribe, and I'll see you all again very soon.